so <clears throat> today uh, we are discussing about the uh, root cause analysis and how basically it's important in our uh, daily development so <clears throat> let me share my screen you all are uh, uh, able to hear me right any any issue uh, no naked okay okay no issue no okay Okay, my screen is visible, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> Okay. So basically, uh, if you talk about uh, RCA, RCA generally we used uh, for uh, in, uh, on our uh, development um, whenever we are getting some issues and issues having uh, impacts. Okay. So. Uh, so as per theory, we need to get RCF uh, for uh, all the issues. Uh, uh, I mean, irrespective of uh, their complexity or whatever the severe it is. So this is always helpful. So the main, uh, basically main object uh, for RC is to prevent our, uh, uh, whatever the issues are coming, uh, I mean, to prevent our repetitive uh, issues. <coughs> so, this is the main object and uh, if you see today's our learning objects we can uh, we can see the importance of rca uh, in uh, problem solving uh, some techniques uh, where actually we can find out and those techniques uh, techniques are help uh, helping us uh, to find out the rca and uh, there are some uh, charts also we can uh, see how those chart will help you to prioritize the uh, root cause and whatever the pitfalls, some analysis on that. <clears throat> so, uh, if you see uh, the importance, uh, so as we discussed, uh, RCA always helpful uh, uh, for any uh, just to take the prevention. Okay, so main benefit is that uh, to find out the fundamental errors in the development process. Okay, so sometimes what we are seeing. Uh, uh, some issues uh, during our development okay so due to uh, some uh, communication uh, and also we need to check a predominantly uh, where exactly it needs to take care uh, uh, particular issues and uh, what the corrective actions for that okay so that rca will help us on that <clears throat> uh, whether issues related to any uh, environment, uh, environment specific, uh, like uh, resource needs to be improved in uh, somewhere uh, like um, low. So sometimes we are seeing the issues uh, happening on a particular environment. Okay, so we need to check in that directions as well, uh, low environment or high environment. Uh, sometimes issues needs to fix from. Uh, so uh, whenever the issues are um, there, we need uh, once we are finding the RCA. We'll, uh, we can able to uh, uh, make a statement whether this issues from the scratch or uh, while development we should take care of this thing. So accordingly we can take uh, the actions. So this is basically the importance of RCA. <clears throat> uh, as we see the minimal rework uh, after RCA, efforts can be utilized in new feature development to make our product more strengthened. Yeah. So this is also a very important thing. Uh, uh, how we can create a confident in our uh, uh, basically with our client. Okay. So uh, uh, in our uh, product uh, uh, initial phase when we are releasing and we have uh, issues are there, but uh, we are eliminating the issues to repeat. Uh, uh, so just to prevent those issues in uh, next release or next phase of uh, uh, development. So this will create a, some. Uh, uh, a good uh, rapport with their client and where there is a chance to increase our business as well. 
so these are the many benefits uh, of the rca so uh, what we can do uh, yeah we can go with some uh, rca uh, principles okay what actually required basically in uh, rca so uh, so before that uh, we can take how to understand the uh, some issues like uh, uh, suppose we have a issues like uh, some sometime we are facing a uh, recently i'm just talking about whatever the experience here uh, in my uh, last assessment okay so we are facing issues uh, like uh, images are not printing okay in our application images are not printing so uh, when we are uh, we have uh, some download functionalities and when uh, pdf gets downloaded okay so that images are not uh, printing and some issues course accessibility issues are there okay so that uh, first first of all we need to understand the issues where exactly from which environment it comes uh, <clears throat> Uh, sometimes uh, that uh, issues are occurring in uh, uh, some environment uh, and uh, it works with the, some other environment like we have a, a browser based applications uh, we have a mobile applications so it uh, issues happening at a particular uh, environment okay. <clears throat> so uh, in order to fix uh, so uh, generally what happens there were some uh, uh, performance related issues are there and uh, when we have a uh, uh, particular in that pdf we have a uh, many images so that images uh, uh, having uh, i mean performance issues uh, when it creates uh, with some plugins okay so we applied some asynchronized call uh, in order to create a pdf generation and then uh, uh, so we have actually uh, discussed with the different teams and uh, uh, where actually this issue comes and uh, uh, i mean uh, what are the corrective actions for that and uh, 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 so basically we need to arrange a call with the smes uh, who are actually expert in this uh, uh, particular in this area <clears throat> so that's how actually uh, we have uh, worked, up, uh, worked on particular that issues okay so when we are working with the rca <clears throat> so uh, there are some specific uh, some principles are there okay <clears throat> uh, like uh, uh, as we discussed uh, our major goal is to sort out the issue, uh, not only the sort out the issues but uh, just to take the appropriate preemptive access, actions so <clears throat> it uh, this issue will never be happen or very minimal chance to happen okay <clears throat> so that things we need to take care uh first of all we need to define uh, we need to define our problem uh, very clearly uh, very precise way to write what is the issue and where actually we need to uh, uh, cover all the scenarios uh, what actually the issues happen when it happens uh, and all the all i mean all aspects we need to basically write in the issues so whoever working and whoever dealing with particular these issues so they can easily understand you know, what is the issues okay uh, so when we start to work on that analysis when we start we have to uh, we uh, we have to try maximum to get the evidences uh, with respect to the uh, particular issues okay and where actually when we are collecting uh, uh, the evidences okay so that time we have to cover uh, all the scenarios which are mentioned okay. uh, uh, the other thing is uh, we need to identify uh, issues uh, that uh, contributed to the problem so how uh, particular uh, in this problem uh, is there a single issue or any other uh, related issues also there okay so all the contributed issues okay who are actually contributing in particular in this problem okay so all those we need to identify so based on that when we are finding uh, the root cause so uh, identify which cause to remove uh, so after particular this cause then this issues will be fixed okay so that will be the uh, uh, rcm okay when we are asking why when where these are all the common practice and based on that uh, we can uh, identify the uh, 
RCA and we can uh, we can tell them uh, if we are removing particular this uh, issue then uh, this will be I mean never occur so this is uh, the main step of the RCA the uh, the another one is development whatever the uh, solutions we uh, we are proposing so those solutions needs to be uh, uh, test on uh, the different environments and get the verification basically uh, uh, sorry uh, get the validations uh, validate particular this issue and after the validation uh, we can able to tell uh, whether this fix is, is correct or not <clears throat> so implementation is very very important part uh, and as per our process we need to uh, uh, we need to do this <clears throat> the other thing is after implement uh, after implementation uh, we should have the proper monitoring and logging system uh, for particular this issue <clears throat> so uh, like um, uh, uh, once issues occur okay so that uh, once issue is implemented whatever the fixes we implemented so the uh, uh, we need to keep monitoring on particular this is uh, issues whether this issues is uh, again is uh, i mean uh, occurs or uh, i mean the uh, proper logging system also tell us whether it, this issues happen or not <clears throat> so sometimes um, we have uh, some uh, uh, we can say some strategies or some approaches uh, where we can um, i mean it's always very organization to organization <clears throat> so sometimes uh, the issues uh, specifically for issues uh, the statements from the team are like uh, errors are often because of the some carelessness and some more uh, because we need to train the developers and we need to motivate them and all these things we do have it uh, we do not have a uh, time or resources to really get into the bottom of this particular problem so this is also one strategy and they are uh, i mean always facing these problems and problems getting uh, increased uh, but when the no, the strategies when we applied as a root cause okay so that actually uh, we used to get this statement from the team like we need to find out why this is happening and implement the uh, 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 how we can stop in future this kind of issues okay and this issue uh, is critical and how did that particular issues are impacting uh, on the uh, different areas so all these details basically uh, when we are uh, uh, getting all these details so this is uh, basically a root uh, root cause kind of approach okay so there are uh, some symptom approach and uh, root cause approaches uh, are there so that is basically based on the organization how they are dealing with the uh, issues so basically all this uh, uh, RCA mechanism and problem management. Uh, more, we have seen the detailed uh, analysis and some systematic approach in our um, uh, manufacturing uh, units. Okay, where actually they have a uh, uh, impacts on their products. <clears throat> so, uh, so basically, we need to define like a we need first we need to define analyze and prevention this is the main three things are there so how we can define what is the problem why it happens what will be done to stop this particular issue issue okay so we need to start with the very uh, very uh, you know normal all these things and uh, all these questions <clears throat> so uh, what is the basic uh, of uh, conventional uh, what is the basic of conventional approach uh, i mean a conventional uh, approach for root cause analysis so there are some uh, uh, phases are there some different phases like uh, uh, contributing factors uh, so uh, we can take one example like a, some fire uh, incident happened okay so what are the contributing fa factors are there okay <clears throat> and what are the main root cause for that so if it uh, uh, if you talk about uh, the fire uh, some fire triangle okay so uh, so 
due to particular this cause this uh, incident happen okay so what are these things like a fuel heat and oxygen if we talk about that okay so what are the contribute uh, contributing factors for that uh, so we uh, we can say a cause which contribute to the effectively in particular this incident okay <clears throat> a contributing cause cannot produce the incident okay so incident uh, uh, suppose uh, if you consider like oxygen so oxygen not only the due to the oxygen this incident happen okay but this is the contributing factor then another one is uh, uh, controlling uh, controlling it reduce the likelihood but doesn't necessarily prevent the problem so uh, suppose we need to uh, maintain the proper uh, uh, heat level a proper fuel tank are there and uh, accordingly we need to set the oxygen level so if we are taking care of all these things uh, we can uh, uh, make this uh, particular issues we can sort out this issue uh, uh, in permanent basis but there are uh, something happen at some a single factor also is not uh, as per the uh, given measurement then that issue could occur so now uh, we need to identify the contributing factor and what exactly the root cause so root cause the combination of all these three things okay when it happens then uh, uh, this incident happened okay <clears throat> <clears throat> so we can uh, we can go with some techniques <clears throat> uh, so anyone having the questions or uh, anything i mean they can share their also uh, uh, experience so that will be uh, good for all of us <clears throat> okay okay <clears throat> so uh, we have uh, some uh, techniques which uh, helps in our uh, uh, this one uh, rca to find the rca okay so there are uh, some wise uh, so if we took uh, uh, talk about uh, some uh, uh, issues like uh, in day to day generally we are getting some issues like a user is not able to log in right so this issue we are uh, many times we are getting this issue like a uh, users not able to log. but the thing is uh, we have seen the uh, the cause of the issues may be differ uh, for the uh, particular this issues okay so, so there are uh, multiple reasons uh, like sometime uh, server unavailability some api response time is very slow okay some uh, time out error we are getting uh, some recent changes in our particular module or some new functionality has been added okay uh, so sometimes we have seen uh, some latency issues are so there and due to that uh, application um, uh, uh, due to sometimes application storage is not maintained properly so uh, in our case generally uh, most of the uh, applications they are widely used application storage and we have seen issues related to application storage as well <clears throat> okay so all there are many factors okay so we can start like uh, whenever we are starting the discussions okay <clears throat> uh, we can ask why it happens okay so now uh, based on the discussion and uh, uh, with smes and whoever actually involved in particular this uh, uh, development uh, so after this we come to know some logging system uh, from there actually we come to know this issues basically from some uh, uh, like time out error okay we can just uh, take one hypothetical scenarios okay so this is uh, like a timeout error okay so at least we come to know there are some issues okay due to some uh, this uh, timeout it's happening okay so why actually did this is timeout okay the next question why this is timeout then we we get to know okay there are multiple server call okay <clears throat> so uh, as per 
I mean, uh, whatever our um, uh, current architecture, we have uh, some uh, mechanism like uh, any uh, request comes that that validate in our uh, application server, and then this is going for next level of uh, authentication and get the proper uh, uh, authorization. It goes to uh, our uh, uh, customer server, and that customer servers they are giving some code. And based on that code, all the subsequent request, all the subsequent request is uh, happening, and uh, user can able to do whatever they need, uh, and they can execute their functionalities. Okay, so there are multiple calls. Okay, so that is required. So we, then we can uh, check why they need uh, all these things. Why it's multiple calls? So there are some security perspective they have kept all these things because they our customer they do not want to expose uh, their uh, uh, their uh, sensitive data uh, with their uh, i mean uh, uh, other uh, uh, vendors okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is required we cannot eliminate this thing okay <clears throat> uh, so what happens i mean what i mean uh, the it was working and now actually what is the differences over there why actually particular this api customers api taking more time okay so uh, then we can come to know okay there are some recent changes and they have added some bulky data over there okay which is really not required or we can take all this uh, we can filter out those data and uh, and uh, less sensitive data we can keep at our uh, application server and how we can go with that and uh, some uh, proper caching technologies we can use over there or whatever things required in order to optimize this thing okay so once we have this thing at least uh, based on the some uh, uh theories okay uh you will get the answer uh, after five hours maximum time okay but it uh, it is not like uh, always for you can use like five hours sometimes some small issues okay you will get the answers on after two or three hours or four hours so it, it this is like some customized okay i mean in no we is not uh, rigidly uh, to go with this thing but at least we'll get some answers okay. and we can come to know okay this is the issue and what uh, once we are actually confirmed uh, <clears throat> uh, once we are confirmed uh, this is the thing okay uh, uh, i mean uh, this is the main course uh, rca is there okay then we have the solutions okay we have a multiple solutions and then we can go with the solutions and uh, which one is the optimized way uh, uh, to uh, sort out particular this issue so it never be happen so so this is uh, really helpful and this all are in um, uh, most of the manufacturing companies okay they are actually documented all these things okay uh, and uh, they have all the specific format for that yes you just need to fill some uh, data over there and you will get the result okay so there are some automation are we just i mean uh, manually we are just uh, here discussing but they have uh, some tools for that okay and uh, uh, they'll get the result based on that whatever the algorithms they have written so <clears throat> this is the very useful techniques uh, uh, if you go with the problem management, uh, some session, actually I've attended in my uh, previous organization. So this particular techniques are very useful, where actually uh, uh, you will get uh, uh, most of the RCs. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so now, uh, anyone having, uh, I mean, uh, they are work with the problem management team, or to find out the issues or how i mean um, uh, or they applied for particular this why technologies so if we uh, i mean uh, sometimes uh, we have the predefined format and all but uh, sometimes we don't have uh, don't, don't have this all the predefined format but still we are using this thing okay we uh, we never know uh, what 
technologies i mean what uh, specific techniques we are using but we are using okay so <clears throat> anyone can uh, share their experience if they want okay <clears throat> Uh, yes, Nikhil, uh, I want to share the, my experience with you. Great. Actually, yeah. majorly the RCA, what RCA currently in LM, mm -hmm. uh, in Frost, they actually wrong, I think as per the wrong process they are in. Actually, yeah. here is a wrong process. Yeah. Uh, uh, spread our all our customization and actually mm -hmm. I, I don't, miss, I think this is the wrong actually. Yeah, because yeah, why? Correct, correct. Because yeah. here every projects actually I worked in two projects in first mm -hmm. and uh, during development, spin de development, each and yeah. every bug they are asking the RCA. Actually, RCA yeah. was not that actually. When yeah. customer raised means the product, yeah. the customer raised the issue. Okay, this is the issue I found in the production environment. It's called the for those issue we can correct. uh we can draft the RCA document and we do the root cause analysis and what is yeah. why this happened, why then we can yeah. sit together committee like and yeah. okay that is fine but which are collected or raised by the product, customer issue we created the rca document we found out the issue we draft everything so but after that what is happen are those yeah. rca shared with other other people's other teams nothing there is no at all process in yeah, currently yeah, correct, correct, so correct. you need to think or do a, uh, we need to work on this actually so yeah. And firstly, we need to correct this because right. we cannot give the RCA for uh, during the development, right? During, yes. Because yes, our code in development right. and we are pushing the QA. So these right. are the bugs and uh, bugs or you can say the issues. Those are right. not, RCA. we cannot responsible to give the RCA details because right. our audit team and uh, QA team is asking for the RCA. This is very yeah. wrong for process as per my yes. understanding. So right. you can move yeah. this point and you can raise the higher management team. Yep. Yes, thanks. Thanks, Dinesh. Uh, the, uh, it's a really good information, uh, Dinesh. So yes, um, the, during development, generally we need to focus uh, on particular our development, and um, sometimes uh, what happens, uh, we uh, do not uh, actually we do not re uh, where uh, we require, as Dinesh said, uh, not a small small issues. Okay, so where actually it requires. Okay, <clears throat> so generally the issues uh, we are facing um, uh, during uh, our. Uh, uh, development phase uh, so like uh, when we uh, have some uh, new developments are there so some enhancements are there okay so uh, in particular in this phase when uh, we are developing and it's a particular uh, our development is going for this uh, testing okay and they are finding some issues their complexity I mean their severities uh, how complex are there and what is the impact on particular these issues okay this is very very important uh, uh, important thing uh, but yes, customers, when the customers finding, uh, are finding the issues, then definitely we, uh, I mean, uh, we need to go in details and get uh, the all of, uh, required RCA for that and make sure this issue should not be happen uh, again, okay, or very minimal chance to happen, I mean. <clears throat> so this is the surety from, uh, 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 I mean, uh, the where actually we are working, the organization, okay. So that's how we can create and build up our uh, customers um, uh, uh, confident. Okay. So this is very, uh, very helpful. Yes. And uh, uh, the thing is, uh, uh, we have uh, some uh, other techniques like uh, uh, fishbone. Okay. So uh, there is a one fishbone uh, techniques also there. Uh, let me just it is there or not uh, yeah it's there okay <clears throat> so uh, see basically uh, this uh, fishbone actually evolved this techniques very long uh, i mean uh, it's somewhere uh, released uh, 1990 and uh, uh, that uh, particular uh, uh, the person who actually evolved this thing, uh, he is actually uh, some uh, owner of the, some company and he uh, puts uh, brainstorming on particular this uh, techniques and then uh, he actually published uh, this technique. Okay. So this is actually useful, these techniques and uh, uh, you will get to uh, uh, find out how many issues uh, which are related to particular this uh, uh, problem. 
so it's not like uh, uh, one issue and you can sort out this issue and this uh, so a particular in this instance we can say this issue is sorted but we need to find out all the surrounding uh, 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 surrounding uh, issues uh, 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 how many issues related to that okay that we need to find out and that, that uh, this is the main object uh, for particular this technique okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> um, we can say like um, uh, uh, for that actually we uh, first of all we need to find out uh, the problem that exactly the problems what is the problem uh, who are uh, who are involved uh, in this problem okay uh, when this problem ha happens where it, it happens all details uh, we need to find out uh, then we need to discuss with the related team um, and uh, we need to involve the SMEs uh, for particular uh, these issues. So that uh, discussion we can say is a brainstorming uh, session where uh, we need to find out all this uh, thing. Okay, and some of the theories they are saying uh, when they start the issues, uh, we need to involve the people who actually never come, uh, never uh, involved in that particular system they are fresh okay so when you started the investigation with the fresh mind it really helpful because they are they don't know okay they don't know about this particular system and they understand the system so they will start the system and they can stay uh, they they will start with the when the particular issue uh, that particular system is starting okay so in that system having some issues and due to that this problem can occur okay so that uh, there are many theories are there but there is one of the theory uh, there is one of the i forget the name but uh, oshigama or some some a japanese uh, person actually he said that uh, always when you are starting uh, starting the discussion uh, uh, when you uh, start with the smes you involve some new brains on that okay who are actually not involved in particular system so they will tell you uh, what their experience okay so this is really helpful uh so uh, the other thing like uh, uh, identified the possible causes what are the causes so there actually we need to find out the major causes are there and uh, uh, some of the like uh, uh, what are the related uh, uh, minor causes related to that major causes so all uh, we need to uh, uh, make some document for that so for that actually some uh, uh, pictorial diagram uh, we need to make for that like a um, some uh, main issues we need to write at the uh, wherever the head fish head are there and all the bones which represents as a cause what are the cause are there okay so that's how actually uh, this diagram uh, can uh, can make okay and that's uh, they may uh, just they put their name uh, uh, fish bone okay so all bones basically represent the causes this many causes <coughs> of particular uh, this problem so <coughs> we can analyze all uh, possible causes so suppose we have a uh, four causes uh, for related to these problems so all these issues all uh, i mean this particular causes we need to analyze okay and uh, um, we need to uh, find out what are the i mean uh, preventive actions for each and every cause okay uh, so that's how we can uh, able to achieve the permanent uh, permanent solution okay so fish bone like uh, you can see here uh, something like uh, one arrow is there and some uh, all the bonds that bonds represent as i said uh, all the <coughs> uh, causes so <clears throat> the, all are the tools as i said most of the manufacturing companies they have the tools and they are just putting the details and the details will represent over there okay they are not doing all the time like from scratch they are not making all this thing this uh, all the tools just them feed the some data and this will be uh, i mean the date uh, the all uh, diagram will be represent and based on that they can start all the discussion okay. uh, they use some uh, formulas uh, like uh, 4p 6m formulas uh, here like uh, most of the service industries uh, they are going with uh, 
uh, four piece okay four piece means what i say like a uh, policy level uh, uh, investigation people uh, who are actually involved in particular uh, this uh, issues procedures what are the procedures and what is the plan for that particular uh, uh, procedures okay so all this thing uh, basically it uh, um, uh, discussed during uh, uh, that uh, i mean uh, that uh, brainstorming discussion okay and uh, uh, so they have defined like uh, uh, this is part of six sigma basically we are just going a little bit in depth uh, so the service industries they are majorly work on that this uh, policies people procedures and whatever they, they plan okay. <clears throat> And manufacturing generally, they are uh, uh, main uh, uh, focus on their uh, main resources, materials, machine, method, uh, some uh, measurements, environments. Okay. So that's how they have defined. Okay. So, so we can. Uh, uh, we can just talk about uh, some our uh, day-to-day some uh, issues <clears throat> like some uh, slowness. Okay. Yeah. Because I am sorry, I want to stop you for a minute. Okay. The ones who are dropping off on another call, guys, please fill in the feedback form, and only then leave the session. Okay. So it's very important. Yes. <laughs> your feedback form. Uh, okay. Do the you have link any is link? on chat. The link okay, has okay. already been put on chat, and along okay. with that, I've mailed the link. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's for the ones who are dropping off for the other call. Okay, so. okay, okay, okay. So before we leave, we can just put over there, right? Or, yes, everyone uh, needs feedback. to. Do okay, that. okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Nikhil, you can continue. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, like sometimes we have issues like uh, slowness issues occur. Uh, in particular, like. Uh, uh, in mobile devices only okay we are uh, getting some complaints okay user complaining uh, complaints like uh, when they are uh, at some uh, remote area or when they are at their phone okay and uh, they're trying to update their information <clears throat> uh, update their information uh, through our app but it is not working or it's very slow okay uh, then uh, some users they are saying like uh, dm users who are having the multiple organizations access okay so they are also uh, raising some complaints like um, they are log uh, sometimes logins uh, login is very slow uh, device takes more time uh, okay it's more than a minute to log in okay so this kind of issues always we deal on day to day basis we are getting these issues even from client okay <clears throat> so uh, um, as i said i mean uh, the issues which i am talking about this is generally we are actually dealing uh, in my the last couple of assi uh, uh, assignment okay so like uh, some of the user they are complaining like uh, they difficult to update some details in uh, late night okay when they are working in late night but they are difficult okay so it works very slow so basically here we the discussion and all courses are very very important uh, in order to deal uh, this kind of issues okay uh, we need to uh, check when it happens where it happens okay this is very uh, like it's uh, always is uh, this issues are uh, happening on uh on some remote area or uh, some users they are complaining it uh, late night is happening or uh, some users uh, okay like a uh, higher management when they are logging they are facing kind of okay so the courses we need to think i mean what kind of uh, course uh, could be there okay so like uh, here we need to ask all these things okay and we come to know uh, what kind of uh, the reasons for that okay so maybe it's a uh, we can say the uh, sometime we can easily we can state like it's due to some slow network server uh, unavailability um, sometime what happens backend job in night we have some backend job and the requests are going on particular uh, that time 
so that time uh, the response are very uh, slow or something like that okay and other issues as we uh, 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 as we have seen like in our uh, uh, applications like most of the time lots a heavy uh, load on front end okay so that is actually some uh, calculations are performing some many loops are performing everything at the uh, uh, our front end okay so uh, this is the some courses and we have faced these issues as well low end configuration devices having more issues uh, like um, uh, the mobile uh, sometimes a very high end or some low end okay so there are also some differences okay they have some different resources uh, within the device okay so that uh, based on their uh, how actually their device uh, it works okay so this is also some uh, cause and dm users uh, saying many data like uh, they have a uh, compared to others role they have a many data like they have a access for more than one organization so when they are logging, so they have some details we are keeping in our uh, uh, storage, like some some personal details, some access related uh, details, like how many teachers associated with this DM, how many students are associated with uh, uh, particular this teacher, and those are ultimately associated with the DM. Okay, how many dashboards needs to be displayed for DM? Okay, so all these things um, are there, and uh, this we come to know this is the thing over there and we need to deal with that okay so <clears throat> when it works online okay and uh, same kind of issues will be occurred repeatedly okay <clears throat> so the the thing is there are uh, multiple ways to sort out these issues uh, and uh, there are some uh, pre uh, preemptive actions uh, we can propose them like uh, some offline solution we can tell them where actually uh, we can make uh, some native code okay for particular uh, this module uh, or uh, wherever actually it uh, uh, gives the problem or uh, we have a separate uh, uh, SQLite database and we can store those information and we can make the offline so whenever the user comes uh, I mean the way, wherever they are going uh, they never know what is happening at the back end but that information will be updated at their end and dashboard also what they want based on their data if they want some uh, dashboard or some reports okay they can easily get it okay <clears throat> So that's how, um, and some uh, once offline, then we need to apply some sync process. Uh, how we can apply some uh, queuing technologies for that, and the same queue rabbit MQ kind of some architecture level changes. Also, we can propose them. Uh, so you know, this all the courses when they are clubbed, and we are putting like here all the bonds, one bonds, two bonds. Okay, when we putting all these things, then we can uh, come to know. Okay, uh, if we are go, if you go with this particular this thing, okay, then we can uh, get very minimal uh, uh, issues. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how actually uh, it works. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, guys, any questions? No, Nikhil, uh, uh, thank you. A very good session and a uh, very informative, uh, in, uh, very good information you have provided. How yeah. to involve the SMEs and the people, those are not part of it. Uh, involve them and ask them so we can get the clear picture as well as involving the BA and subject matter expert. So, yeah, uh, very nice information you have provided. Uh, very much thank you for giving your time to give this session. Yeah. We are all uh, thankful to you. Yeah, okay. Over to Priya. Priya, are you there? Yes, okay, I'm there. Yeah, Hello. so, <clears throat> yes, Priya. Yes. Yeah, I'm thank there. you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys uh, for joining the session. And uh, I hope uh, when you require any such type of issues in your project from customer, or escalation from the customers you can apply the rc or uh, again if you require any help you can reach to the nikhil kumar on a yeah. hangout or uh, you can email him thank you guys. yes yes definitely 
definitely yeah and uh, some pareto chart also there so i think time is already done so i'll send these details to you and uh, this is also very interesting thing pareto things so how actually it's being created and uh, what are the steps required for that so that also i'll i'll share this information with you guys <clears throat> Um, along with that i have this video recorded with me yeah, yeah. so i will share the video as well so you can yeah. go through the video also whenever you all want thank you right. so before leaving everyone i hope everyone has filled in the feedback form um priya it is not showing she it's on the mail also the punch i have mailed it to you as well as i have put it on chat also okay okay thank you yeah thank you everyone thank, thank you. you thank you everyone thanks thank you